Hey folks, Internet Dude here. Hey, I was just in the shop for a little bit today and I just wanted to shoot a short video just to show you this battery tester that I got. So this one, I'll just show you the, uh, the booklet and the packaging here. So I'll put a link below, but uh, it's a BA101. Uh, it came from Amazon. What I like about this is that it will test the battery and it will also do a charging test and a cranking test, which is kind of cool. So uh, what I'll demonstrate for you is I have a battery here. Uh, it's 580 cold cranking amps. And this is a really simple thing, to, simple and easy to use. Like this is it, what you see here. So, um, and it's really easy to use. I'll show you it's, uh, we'll plug in the, neg connect the negative, connect the positive. And that powers it up. Yeah, let's come around so you can see that. Uh, the one thing I'm going to check is I'll do a battery test and there's an option to do in the vehicle or out of the vehicle. Um, you need to look at the cold cranking amps. Now on this battery it's 580 but this battery has more or less been unused for the last month and also it's been pretty cold out. It's about minus 15 Celsius. So if we take a look here uh, the battery's out of the vehicle, so I'm just going to go down and show you what it will do. Out of vehicle. And so you can test AGM batteries, flat, regular flooded batteries, different types of batteries, which is nice. So we'll choose regular flooded. So then you can input, and you can choose what kind of input you want to put in uh, to do the testing against. I'm going to choose CCA, cold cranking amps. Now I've pre-entered the uh, 580 from over there. And uh, yeah, let me just change this. There we go. Okay, so setting right and I press enter and now it tests. There we go. So uh, what I like too is that it just gives you like in English, the condition of that battery. So good battery, I don't need to do anything to it. Now, you can see the health of it is 68% and the charge level is 73%. So since that's not at 100% and I took the battery out of that Jeep Comanche, I'm now, uh, I'm gonna put it on the charger anyway to improve those numbers, but uh, that's how this battery tests out that is cold. All right, so next up, I have the King Ranch here in the shop still and the battery has been hooked up to a battery charger, but it's been in the vehicle. So I'll show you that test. Okay, so this time it's in the vehicle, so we'll go down and pick battery in vehicle. And we'll do a battery test. So it says check surface charge, uh, turn lights on, take headlights on about 10 seconds, turn lights off. Uh, English is not ideal there, but I've already done that. I turned the headlights on. So press OK. Uh, and then again, asking for the type of battery. This is regular flooded. Uh, cold cranking amps, yes. And so I just need to use the arrows here to increase that to uh, 750. There we go, and we'll test. Okay, so again, it gives you good English description here. Good battery, that's great. Um, you can see it's uh, the health is 97% and the charge is 98%. And that's great. And it has been plugged into a trickle charger for days. So that's great. This battery is in excellent condition. I don't have the key for the truck right now, or I would probably show you that cranking test. I do have one more, uh, one more battery I can test right now. Okay, and I have one more battery that I can show you uh, a test on that uh, this is a unique situation. This battery went completely dead uh, probably about a week ago and so I hooked it up to a trickle charger to bring it back to life. Uh, this is in my Jaguar, so it has a very big battery, and this one does 820 cranking amps. So what we're going to do, we'll give this one a test. Now this one was dead very recently, so I'm not quite sure how it's going to come out. So battery in vehicle, battery. I already turned the lights on, regular flooded. And I already entered the, put it in the cranking amps, 820. So here goes. Uh, 
All right, so good battery. Uh, it says the health is 100% and the charge level is 98%. So even though the battery went completely dead, uh, it looks like charging it and leaving it on the trickle charger for a week has done wonders for this battery. I actually expected it to do worse because it was drained dead. I thought it really cut the life short on batteries, but perhaps because this is in uh, heated storage, it's that's maybe kind of what has helped. Here's one more thing I realized. Uh, there's a CD in the package and you can actually plug in a USB cable that comes with it and you can print off that data. So that's kind of interesting. All right, so I have one more battery I can test and uh, I just did a test and you'll, you'll be interested at these results. So this battery the battery has a date code of June 2010, and uh, it's now February 2018, so that's an old battery, and it's going to show up as an old battery in here. So let's take a look. Okay, so there's the cranking apps. There we go. Health, 26%. Charge, 43% replace. So it's putting out uh, in the neighborhood a half uh, of the amps that it should be. Anyway, I mean you can tell by looking at this that uh, it's not in the best of condition. But uh, it started the car every time it's been requested. So Anyway, I just wanted to do a short video to show you that battery tester just in case you happen to be in the market for a battery tester. Um, I would recommend this one. Like I said, I'll put a link, put a link in there and in the description and you can check it out. Anyway, I uh, hope you liked the video. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe and thanks for watching. Hey, I know I already finished the video up, but uh, I bought a replacement battery. So I thought, well, let's just test this battery. Um, so this is uh, from Costco. It's 640 cranking amps and you can see the date code is December 7th, 2017. Let's see what a battery from there does. Hope you like the audio too, because I uh, I got a new microphone, so it's out of the vehicle. Regular flooded, called cranking amps, and it is 640. So let's test it. There we go, battery health 93%, charge 88%. Uh, it's putting out almost 640. I will put it on a charger and we'll see what it does, but uh, I'll just end the video there. Thanks for watching.